The Australian Greens have launched a new TV ad campaign targeting disillusioned Labor and Liberal voters. Ads were hot on the agenda today with some candidates taking a stand against negative campaigning. Damien Larkins reports. It's their biggest campaign yet and the Greens want to ensure bang for their buck. They're targeting traditional Liberal and Labor voters in the Senate. This time, I'm voting Green in the Senate. Leader Bob Brown says people are disillusioned with the major parties. They don't like the bickering. They don't like uh, the failure in leadership and uh, they don't like the negativity. And the Greens are offering them a sensible and responsible alternative. The Greens are priding themselves on a positive campaign in contrast to some in the 2007 election. Timber Communities Australia ran ads attacking Greens policies on same-sex marriage and legal recognition of intersex people. After a hearing in the Anti-Discrimination Tribunal, the lobby group apologised. I fear that may happen again. My hope is that it won't and that this pledge signing will send out the message that that kind of hatred has no place in our electoral system. Candidates from most of the major parties got on board. However, the federal opposition was notably absent. The Liberals were implicated in similar ads by the religious group The Exclusive Brethren just weeks before the 2007 election. The matter was settled outside the Anti-Discrimination Tribunal, but the party didn't apologise. I think of all the parties and candidates, the Liberal Party is the one most in need of proving that it has a commitment to respectful campaigning, um, and yet they've not responded and they're not here. In a statement, the Liberals say they'll be judged by their actions rather than by signing a pledge. Damien Larkins, ABC News.